Good morning everyone. Welcome again to my channel. Today we are making gluten free two ingredient mixed nut bars and everything other than that is just optional but just with two ingredients guys. This is going to be an energy bar or like a protein bar or even like just a nut bar whatever you want to call it but this is gluten free, vegan, casein free, soy free. Let's get started with our ingredients. Over here I have mixed nuts and I only have two nuts over here but you are more than welcome to add cashew, almonds, walnuts, any kind of nut and it is all in a whole shape right now and over here I have the pitted dates so 10 about 10 of them and uh, over here I have honey which is completely optional you can use stevia uh, or uh, any kind of raisins to add to the sugar this is elaichi powder and you can also add cinnamon ground cinnamon in the place of elaichi so that's an option for you over here I have my food processor what I'm going to do is very simple I'm just going to pour in my nuts and the dates you can just do it separate but I'm just going to do it together and I'm just pulse it really quick how it looks over here um, so it looks like a little um, coarse but that's okay it has enough moisture for us to make the bar but uh, like I said I'm just going to add a little bit of honey to it and then I'm just going to mix it in a bowl and let's see how we can pat it okay I'm just going to go ahead and transfer to the bowl so it's easy to make our patties first we are just going to roll like a dough and then we're going to cut it or you can just uh, do it in your hand and make like a patty and then cut it it's up to you so it has enough moisture to uh, make a ball or uh, you know roll it into a patty so we really don't need that honey but I'm just adding it for extra sweet you can also add raisins they also add to the moisture so that is another tip over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and it's like a gooby bar chewy gooby bar okay uh, here we go uh, our mix is very well combined over here and uh, of course we're going to roll it again and i'm just going to add some uh, lychee powder you can even add it to the mix and uh, blend it while you're doing that but i'm just going to do it on top because it adds a great flavoring and if you guys don't know anything about lychee it is nothing but cardamom powder very very healthy for brain in terms of focus and concentration not to mention the amazing taste it has Tubs of flavoring. Okay, there you go. I have my parchment paper here. Just gonna go ahead and transfer that into here. If you think it's really not uh, very sticky, you can still add a little bit more of the coconut oil or honey. Uh, really, it's up to you. But I am just going to go ahead and paste it in. My hands, it's easy for me, but uh, you guys can choose your own uh, options. You can roll it into a thick bar or thin bar. It really depends on uh, how you like your nut bars. You can also make a seed bar. That would be my next recipe. Please stay tuned for that. Okay, there you are. And then, and since I'm going to cut it, it really doesn't matter. make a square bar or a rectangle bar I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my plate and let it uh, dry so the moisture comes out and it is ready to chew okay my nut bars are ready and they came really well chewy and yet satisfying and then again guys it is just two or three ingredients if you add the honey then it is three ingredients if you add the cardamom powder or cinnamon or anything that you're gonna add which you can always add as a topping or as an extra ingredient but basically it's just two ingredients but it, this is not it you know it is like very cost effective and you can make it in your kitchen and there is no BPA in the plastic wrap or you're not worried about the preservatives added colors flavors and not to mention soy lecithin and most of the protein bars are loaded with soy and loaded with MSG and all the GMO so I am just worried about that to feed my kids or even put it in my mouth because it is loaded with chemicals and toxins even the 
gluten free or vegan uh, bars that you get they're so expensive and the small bar like that is like five dollars when you eat like three bars let's say that you take like two bars a day you're spending like uh, close to nine to ten dollars per day and you don't even know if it is healthy or not but when you make it in your kitchen it's fast quick easy healthy and doable so that's what i wanted to let you guys know and do try this recipe and post your comments in my youtube and before we leave i'm going to show you what we have made today and I have made a thick bar like that and it is non-sticky, it's so good. And then over here a different shape and this is a thin bar, you know, some children like thin bars which mine does too. So I made a thin bar like that and you know, it is really, really tasty guys and yummy and I just can't wait to eat it. If you like my video, definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so every time I upload a new video, you get a notification and you can view my videos. See you!